All right, let's talk about one of the biggest flops in all of Dragon Ball. I'm talking about King Gold. Here you have the guy, the freaking father of Frieza. Like 12 feet tall. This guy was jacked. He was cool. And he just, just got bodied. He just got bodied and that was it. We never saw him again. All right, so what went wrong? And how are we gonna fix this guy? How are we gonna make him credible? So let's talk about this. All right, so we first see King Cold when he goes to Namek, he finds the planet, you know, just got bombed, right? It's done. He sees his son fucking chopped in half and everything, right? So he repairs Frieza, you know, and he's going to Earth, right? He's, a, he's there to exact revenge with his son. And guys, let's talk about the presentation for a moment here, all right? Here you have Frieza, barely up to this guy's knee. And you have Cold in like his throne sipping wine, making Frieza stand beside him like he's a common henchman. Guys, that's done there for a reason. It's to make King Cold more imposing. I mean, here you have the, the previous main villain, barely up to the guy's knee, standing just like a bum. And then you have this big fucking guy just <laughs> sipping his wine. I mean, dude, our expectations were through the roof. So they land on Earth, and we all know what happens. Trunks just sing, cuts freeze up, right? And then it's time for King Cold versus Trunks. We're like, oh shit, what's gonna happen? All right, you have the, they're standing on the cliff, the, the wind's blowing. We're like, oh dude, we were hyped. And then he asks for Trunks' sword? What? what? Okay, well maybe, maybe he has a plan. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. All right, maybe King Cold likes swords. I don't know, right? So he tries to use the sword against Trunks. Trunks catches it and then boom, he's dead. And before he goes out, he just, ah, oh, man. Zero credibility when he's like, I'll give you a plan and I'll give you two plans. Jobber. That's jobber stuff right there. This guy was a jobber, certified. His, the only reason why he was in the story was to make Trunks look good. Yeah, I understand, right? But God, did you have to make it so just underwhelming? Like, yeah, Trunks is cool and all, and I get that he, he has to beat King Cold. It has to happen, right? But man, it just, you could have done it so much cooler. And here's how I would have changed the fight to make King Cold and Trunks look better. Because Trunks is the main objective here, but we're gonna make him look better while also preserving the dignity of King Cold, okay? So, how are we gonna change this fight? Well, I think it's simple. You make King Cold stronger. I'm not saying he has to be as strong as Trunks. No, that's not what I'm saying. You have to make Trunks look better than Cold, but, you know, have a fight. Have a fight, not just a squash match. All right, have a fight. Have Vegeta when he senses. <gasps> he frees up brought his father. Oh shit. You know, have him be like, oh my God, we're gonna die. Oh my God, we're gonna die. So here's how I start the fight. So they're on the, they're on the, uh, the cliff. The wind's blowing, everything's awesome, right? Um, and King Cold says, hey, you're nothing without your sword. You're nothing to Trunks. Trunks says, oh yeah? He throws away his sword says, I don't need my sword to kill you. Awesome one-liner, and then Trunks just fucking bam, right in the mouth cold, gets knocked away. And from there, we have an epic fight. Have King Cold showcase some of his abilities, all right? What did this guy, this guy literally just swung a sword once and died. We don't know anything, like, let's see some of his abilities, all right? This is a freaking... 12 foot tall giant alien, all right? Let's see some of his abilities. What can this guy do? What's he capable of? Well, in this Trunks fight, we'd actually find out, all right? Now, the fight, you know, maybe five, 10 minutes. It's not, it doesn't have to be a very long fight and have Trunks have the advantage throughout the whole fight. You can have him fight on somewhat even footing, but always have Trunks, you know, have the advantage, right? Trunks, bam! He hits harder than King Cold, all right? Because even though this, this episode is about King Cold, the purpose of the story, the whole Mecha Frieza arc was to put Trunks over, so that's <clears throat> what we're gonna do. 
So they fight, Cole does some, showcase some of his abilities. Maybe we get a bit of blood from Trunks, you know, his, his uh, capsule corp, corp, vest is all, you know, ripped up, all right? We see him in the tank top, all fucking jacked, right? And the fight's nearing its conclusion and have Trunks just fucking, bam, lands a devastating punch. Cole goes into the mountain, all right? And he's done. He's done, he can't get up, he's all bloody, you can have some of his horn, like a, his horn being broken, his cape is all snapped up, alright, he's done, alright, knowing that his defeat is imminent, and you could have Trunks stand over him with the key blast, and instead of having King Cold beg for his life, have him just look at him coldly at Trunks and just say, do it, that's it, that's it, that's all you have to do, and then BAM, key blast, right through the chest, done. That's it, King Cold is dead. And there you go, that's it. You've now just made King Cold into a credible threat. And you've made Trunks look even better because King Cold in the original story, I believe was even weaker than Frieza. So by beating a, a guy even weaker than Frieza so effortlessly, when we already knew that he can do that, it doesn't really add too much. But having him beat someone much stronger than Frieza, looking like a badass, cool one-liners, in my opinion, it gets Trunks even more over than how than in the original story. And you preserve King Cold's dignity. You make him look cool. Alright? So, yeah, that's that's what like ah, King Cold, man, they really dropped. They 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 it's like Tom Bray just Fucking threw him a nice football. You caught it. You run into the touchdown and you stumble and break your fucking nose or your ankle or whatever. All right. Big, huge missed opportunity. So, yeah, that's my video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Kaya Man 26 signing out.